Hey there, in this one and in the next few videos, we are gonna be doing a drag and drop image and crop. So that component will allow us to drag an image into our React component, drop it in there, and then eventually we'll be able to crop it. So there's a few things that we need to do to make that happen. So those next few videos will actually do all that. So make sure you subscribe to get everything. But the first thing that I wanna do is build in a drop zone. So the drop zone is literally that drag and drop component that we're gonna end up using. And I'm using this, this component called React Drop Zone. So we're just gonna install it. The docs are actually really good. There's a lot of examples in there of things that you can divert from what we're doing here, but I'm doing it for this specific for purpose of doing drag and drop image and crop. I didn't mean to make it rhyme, but it does. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and first off install it. So npm install dash dash save react dash drop zone drop zone okay um, while it's installing we're gonna take a look at the actual code that we're using basic component here as as we've seen before and it's in our app.js so it's already rendered all of that so um, what I want to do is I want to import the drop zone itself so we do import drop zone from react dash drop zone okay so this drop zone is really, it's just a div tag that's gonna trigger a file upload. That's one thing, but then it also is a actual place that we can drag a file over and let go of it and it'll, it'll actually be handled. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just bring it in and say drop file here and then close off that drop zone. Okay, so we save that and of course, I gotta run it again. So npm run start. It installed with no problems. Um, I think the version, there might be changes to the version in the future, but the general concept is, is most likely gonna be the same. Um, that's where the docs come in. I mean, if, if anything changes, check out the docs for all that. Okay, so I've got this drop file here. Again, if I click on it, it, it will allow me to grab something, or I could also, um, drag and drop, you know, something over there. Let's say the React drop zone stuff, right? So I can drop that over and nothing happens. Well, nothing happens because I haven't set up anything to happen, right? So what I need to do is handle the event on drop, right? So that is something that's built into this drop zone, right? It's much like a file on change, right? So on change would be how you do it with a file upload. On drop is how we're doing it with just a standard file drop. And the drop zone is intelligent enough to know if I just click it and upload something too. Um, either way, the on drop method is called. So we need to create what that method is gonna be. And I'm gonna call it handle on drop. Um, I call it handle on drop and like handle change. I think that is more explicit so I don't ever get confused because you know in the docs they have on drop and on drop. I think that's confusing. I like high handle on drop. And we're gonna use a arrow method here, or the arrow function, fat arrow function, to bind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this.handle on drop. Now, if you look in the docs, you'll see it bound in a different way. Let's see, let's scroll down. We see that it's bound like this, right? Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just uh, a different way to do it. I think this is cleaner and the syntax follows um, the fat arrow binding versus doing it in line. Okay, cool. So what happens with this handle on drop? Well, two things actually come in uh, by default. And one is the files that we're actually gonna use and the other one is rejected files, okay? So this is an array of both of those things. So files and rejected files. Now, I can easily just do console log files just to see that that part's working. This will show me that my drop is working, All right? So let's go back into Chrome, into our app, and I'll just drag and drop a screenshot in there, All right? And of course, if I console log it or I look at my console log, I see an array of files. Awesome. Gives me the name, last modified. It gives me all sorts of data in here. Um, that's, that's important, right? We actually want to make sure that we have those things. So how do I actually get rejected files, right? So like I have this rejected files thing in here. How do I actually get that? Well, there's a few different properties that we could add. So we could say max size and set it equal to some sort of size in bytes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say const 
um, let's say image max size equals to 10, literally 10 bytes. That's really, really tiny. I don't think there's an image around today that is actually 10 bytes that, that's any, any of any use. Okay, so I've got max image size. Since I have this now, I'm just gonna go ahead and console log the rejected files are, right? So I have my accepted files and then my rejected files. We save that. Let's bring in an image again. And this is just a whatever image. And as we see with that, we've got an error, okay? So that gave me the rejected files with this max size parameter. Now I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. I'm not gonna do the math on that just yet, but now it should be an accepted file. Okay, did it, and what do you know? It's accepted. Okay, cool. Um, so, so really, really simple on how to handle it. I mean, now what we can do with it, are, uh, there's a lot of other things, right? So we could upload the files to a server. We could upload the rejected files to another server, right? It doesn't mean that just because it's rejected for a user doesn't mean we can't do stuff with it because it's not actually rejected. It's just a way for us to sort of know what's going on. But of course, that's only one different argument that we can have. There's, there's a lot of them. So if we look at the documentation, we see that all of these arguments or these properties are things that we can use. Um, so allow multiple. Well, maybe we don't want to allow multiple. So multiple equaling to false, right? So now I can't actually have multiple images on here and I can just have one. Now, I only put one in but it still comes in as an array. So, so either way, this is gonna be treated as an array. So if I try to do multiple files, let's go ahead and do multiple files, it doesn't even let me. Like I'm trying to select multiple here, but it doesn't let me. It only lets me select one. Um, so that's, that's a file feature that's fairly straightforward, pretty easy. But again, when we do the drop, it's always gonna be considered as an array. Um, the next thing is that I think is rather important is accept. No, except is just like in a file field itself, right? So what type of image do we want or what type of file type do we actually wanna have? Now I can just say what I need, which is gonna be image dash and then star, right? So this is all images that there are that will accept that. So when I save that and come back into this drop file here, notice the Photoshop image doesn't come through, but the PNG does. So by default, it does do that. Now, I think we can also just accidentally grab that, right? So I, I just pretty much overrode what the file field was saying with my browser and tried to upload a PSD file. And hey, what the heck? That was, that was accepted. It's a PSD file. So this accept is not completely handling it as it might should, like maybe should. So, so we would have to actually handle some of those errors in this handle on drop, right? That is true. We wanna still handle what files are coming through in here before we would move on to whatever's next. Um, so, I mean, really simply on how we could go about doing that is we just create different conditions for these. So we would first off do the rejected files or, I mean, you don't have to do it this, this one first, but I'm gonna just do the ones that I don't want first and say length greater than zero. So this is the condition. If they're there and there's more than zero, then we're gonna just kind of grab any of them or all of them and work through it that way. So I'll just say const um, current rejected file equals to rejected files zero and then const um, current rejected or reject file um, type equals to current reject file dot type. And then we could do size. Same sort of thing. Oops, let's put const and then dot size. And again, we can now then bring in some of our things. So if the current file is, you know, reject file is greater than that size, then we'll go ahead and alert this file is too big. Okay, so the cool thing about this, let's let's bring it back down to something tiny, like 10. Um, the cool thing about this is it is a rejected file and it's giving us a custom alert to various things, right? So if I come in here, I can now have a custom alert, right? 
file is too big. Whereas if I didn't have that alert, if I just commented it out and came in here, it doesn't give me an, an error related to it. It just says that it's rejected. So that's where we can come in here and have our rejected files do various things. But what I also wanted to make sure is, you know, even in my actual files, so if files and and files.length is greater than zero, even in here, I might want to do something very similar. So again, I'll say file or current file. and current file type and current file size, and then just change these things through. Uh, oops, current file size. We still might wanna have those things ran through, right? So they are separated, that's why we have these two different methods. And yes, I can create a other method that would just do all these things for me, and we'll probably do that. Uh, but for now, all we need to really worry about is, hey, I've, I was able to handle the drop, I was able to handle the files, and, and now I'd be able to send them somewhere else if I needed to. Like I, I'm, I'm ready to actually upload them to our server. Um, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that um, in the next few videos at all because that requires a server to be set up. But what, what happens here is just fairly straightforward on a simple drop zone. If you have any questions, let me know. Make sure you subscribe to get everything because we are going to be covering more of this in the next few videos and a lot more on React and many more videos to come too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.